Hello there, everybody. Welcome on back to some more and to the Gungeon Paradox streaks. We are playing, obviously, as the Paradox because that's the whole damn point of doing a Paradox streak. Uh, let's go with the Napalm Strike, something that I guarantee to you I am never going to use. Okay, what, what are we starting with today? I, I have Flight, okay, and the Mega Dowser. Wait, what a time to be alive, dude. What a time to be alive. So Wax Wings, uh, which gives us Flight, and also Mega Dowser. So, what do, you, what, <laughs> what do you do with this? You also have the Rogue Special. Um, w one of the worst out of the, uh, out of the starting guns. It's a garbage start to enter the gungeon here. Uh, it does limit me from falling into pits a lot, which is something that I do pretty much on the daily in this game um you know beating the lich blindfolded i could probably do that but you know successfully oh you sick son of a gun he actually got away dude that's the first key man that i've let get away in a long time and i'm disappointed about it we could really use that key uh because we actually need like all of the help that we can get on this run this is this run is bad right now. Um, a couple of things. So first of all, I want to uh, give everybody a big old thank you for the support on the the first episode of the Paradox Streaks. You guys seem to love the idea uh, and are excited for more. And obviously, so am I. Uh, I think it's going to be a enjoyable series uh, and, and kind of a good way for us to continue to learn Gungeon while also uh, playing as a pretty fun character in the process. So, thank you. We'll be doing more, obviously, uh, as evident by me uploading this video right here. But we'll be doing uh, more over time and, and, and getting some fun Paradox content out. It had a hell of a shot by that guy, honestly. A um, couple of questions that people have had. Uh, and by a couple, I mean literally the one question that people have had uh, that I, I feel obligated to answer right now. People asked me, they said, Tyler, are you going to use the mod that creates random stats for the Paradox? Um, so I didn't even know this existed until you guys told me about it. Um, maybe. I'm going to leave it at a strict maybe. Because I don't, I don't really love the idea of, of doing something modded currently with that. Uh, but there's also a part of me that's like, you know, it could be pretty cool uh, as a good way to really make our uh, Eden <laughs> Eden streak, our Paradox streak, our own, you know? You know I feel like a lot of people are, are doing streaking in Gungeon, and, and I'm sure that Paradox streaks are something that more people are going to end up doing eventually. Um, so why not, you know, do something to kind of mix it up? I'm not going to do it immediately, um, but that might be something that we add in at some point. You know, maybe uh, five, ten wins. Uh, I decide to look into possibly adding that mod to the game. Part of the issue is I, I don't really even know how Gungeon stats work. Uh, I don't know if there's a way that I can even get a, you know, HUD kind of like Isaac that displays the stats. I don't know if that's an option. So please, if anyone knows anything about modding into the Gungeon, and I could just literally go and ask uh, Woodsy or Retro or somebody about this. Dude, Gun Knight Gauntlet, pretty good. That's a pretty good item for us. That makes me very happy. It's a very good item. Uh, those that don't know, gives you armor every floor, which is insanely useful. I am going to buy a key, uh, and I am going to open up this chest because, really, I don't think I can beat this boss with the Mega Dowser. I really don't want to do it with the Sawed Off either, but you know what? When life gives you melons, you have dyslexia. So, that's that. Okay, let's do this thing. That's the only that's the only uh, question and comment that people had. Uh, besides, hey Tyler, you suck at Gungeon, but that one I, I'm used to at this point in time. Please, you stupid. Don't. This is like the worst person for us to get, I think. Because uh, he is a pain to do up close. It's bad when I'm using the Mega Dowser unironically. And it's doing damage unironically. It's just there's not much that we can do here. Going fine. 
is going fine. A flawless would be so large for us here because it offers us that HP that we might need when, when times get rough here. Hello, friend. He's doing big boy shots. It's rude. I was firing out this uh, mega dowser like a, a friggin' laser beam for a second. Pew, 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 pew. Nah, hold it down. Okay. You still got two blanks. Keep that in mind. Where's my man? He's right here. Okay. Cranking on him. Is looking good. Please? Okay. It is one of the best fights I've done in a while. We used the Mega Dowser to clear out this man. Uh, and in return, you get yourself the Membrane. I'm gonna be real with you. I have no idea what it does. So, uh... Yeah, it's good. I'm happy. <laughs> Who's to be upset about this? I should look for secret rooms. Uh, wow, there was actually one here. And it was insane. Okay. So sling is fine. Uh, the hexagon is fine. Let's also do another one here. I, I, look, man, I was just trying to see if there were possibly like 700 secret rooms on this floor. Uh, do I want some armor? Yeah, sure, dude. Why not? Take some armor. And then we'll, we'll bust this chest wide open. Hexagon's pretty good, so I have no issues with grabbing that guy. And you get the uh, the flash ray as well. It's not good at all, but you know what? It, it could be a, a thing to throw into a gun munch opportunity, or maybe it has some, uh, some good old synergies with it that I might not know about because I... Don't know much about the game. Okay, this seems to be a, a shotgun that maybe does some poison damage with it. I can get down with it. Sling, I know how to use. Uh, it can be pretty strong, actually. You know, it, it is basically a one-shot on a lot of people. Except for that guy, obviously. As you have now seen me hit him for two, twice. And this guy, apparently. But Sling's not too bad. It, it, it can do damage to bosses uh, as well. Uh, of all the things that I'm upset about getting, Sling is not one of them. Uh, on a run where we don't have much going for us, Sling could be, you know, the means between life and death. Not that I want it to be. I hate the fact that I'm relying on Sling, but... That's also pretty bad right there. Should, should not have gotten hit on that. Oh, dude, I should not be getting hit this much everywhere. Hello, friend. Please die. Thank you. So we do have our shop here momentarily. Hexagon's okay. Uh, I, I tend to not care for it as much, but it is actually annihilating people, so I'm going to not be too, too upset. We have to go through our shop, I think, to get to our item room. We will do that. I mean, Hexagon is a green green gun and i know you're gonna go tyler this, this is not how it works but we got it out of a green chest and the rarity i think there is relatively accurate it's just this gun does not have a lot of ammo um duct taping it with something else that we could, we could get this a lot of ammo i love that idea a good amount i will do this immediately it's the fire hand or flame hand it's another subpar gun in my opinion uh, hell, it's not even a gun, but a little bit of fire damage on people could be, could be okay. I have flight, dude. I don't know why I'm worrying about that here. I don't know, maybe Flame Hand is actually, uh, relatively strong. It's got good piercing on it, which I like. We're, we're able to, uh, kind of crank on these guys. It, we'll, we'll see how, uh, things work. I'm using a wide variety of guns at the current moment, um, mainly because the most of them are terrible. Even this membrane, I'm not exactly uh, loving at the current moment. Sling is still doing his, his thing. It's the sling thing. I hated that. Y'all can screw off. This is where, you know, I, I should not use the hexagon as my main room clearing gun. This should be one that we save for the boss fight, I feel. But there reaches a point in a young Gungeoneer's life where you go, 
are you gonna make it to the boss fight if you don't use this gun now? And I'm going, you know what? This this runs pretty trash. So maybe we should be using it to, to ensure that we make it far on the run. You know, flame hand, couple of shots. These guys die from it, so it's it's a positive. We're actually playing well, which is uh, half the battle when it comes to me playing Gungeon. Good dodges. When, when you suck as bad as I do, you have to take what you can. Red chest? No, nah, it's just a it's just a brown. Um, I really have no interest. I, I will just kill it. That way we at least lose it. And never mind. Apparently it'll die on its own. So strafe gun is pretty good, man. I mean that's a actually top tier gun in this game. So now I'm kind of thinking, maybe we we do what we can to get that. I remember looking at it, and it was an S quality, and we've had success uh, with it in the past. So I'd feel okay spending that kind of money on it. I just, I don't think we're going to get that kind of money. We, we would need to find a dude that allows us to sell stuff. Okay, my sniper versus your sniper, my man. You're going to have a bad time, because I fire a little bit faster, because the human brain is better than AI, fun fact. Despite what people say about me or my loved ones. Where are we going? Uh, we have to fight. What are we going to come in here with? Probably flame hand to start. Is I the beholster? This is definitely a flame hand scenario. Because, uh... When the little minions come out, it's going to be useful to handle them and these things. It's going to be useful to handle them like that. And this should be easy for us. Th this is probably... I, I don't know, man. Between him and uh, the Medusa chick, pretty easy enemies. Sawed off is now what you want. Membrane, you, you can do that a little bit. It actually annihilated um his his thingies. I'm bad at the game, so let's let's not talk too too much about that one. We do not deserve. Well, I mean, we deserve to have gotten hit. We're bad, but we should not have gotten hit. And I really should have just flame handed this entire time. So, that's my bad. Um, oh well, you, you lose out on one red HP. Hopefully that's not something that comes back to bite us in the end here. But life goes on. You get the silencer. I don't necessarily think that this is all that good. But, um, you never know with, with this game. Sometimes the gun that you think is bad is the one that you end up using... Uh, the most. So we'll try out the silencer. I'm fine with that. And uh, life is but a dream. So I have a uh, question for you guys today. Because that's what we do. I ask you weird questions. You give me strange answers. Um, here, Here's my question. Pizza cutters. Slash just like any anything related to pizza cutters. What are appropriate, appropriate, try saying that word 10 times fast, appropriate, uh, what are some appropriate things to cut with a pizza cutter? Because I have now had contact with people that think that it is okay to cut apple pie with a pizza cutter. I think this is a little bit insane. Because, first of all, um, how many people are going to buy a pizza cutter in, like, standard life? Unless you, you know, it, this requires you to eat pizza a lot. Like, well, why else would you buy a pizza cutter unless you were eating pizza a lot? Dude, this is a super charge? Charge shot? Yeah. Okay, this gun's okay. There's another one that super benefits from us getting duct tape uh, and just letting it annihilate everybody we love. It's a fun gun, too. Um, any charge shots in Gungeon, I'm a pretty big fan of. That was just absolutely terrible on my part. This, this dude's got to go. Dude, how have I not... I was going to say, I have to kill one of these guys eventually. There's too many people in this corner. Fring off, everybody. I don't even know what I picked up, to be honest with you. It could have been a heart, and then it just died immediately. 
Wow. This floor is going real bad. Maybe I should stop talking about pizza cutters for 10 seconds. But basically, what I'm saying is a pizza cutter is not, you know, a common utensil that people have in their house. If you're buying a pizza cutter, it's because you eat pizza a lot. Um, and, and you're making pizza a lot. It's not even you're eating pizza a lot. Because if you're eating pizza a lot, then that could be, you know, you're getting... I'm just going to do this now, I think. Um, if you're eating pizza a lot, that means that you're probably ordering it. Um, you know, doing like takeout pizza or something. Which then puts you in a scenario... Oh my lord, why is this here? Why are these fights like 10 times worse right now? This is not looking great for me. We also really kind of needed a flawless here. I just feel like this fight's going in fast motion, dude. I hate this right now. Oh, th this is... This is less than ideal. Yo, you gotta go, buddy. But if you're ordering pizza uh, that much to begin with, you have a health problem to handle. I just don't think that a standard American kitchen, e even a standard Italian kitchen. I don't know, do Italians even eat pizza that much? This is something that I will have to ask Papy. Um, but y you just you shouldn't need a pizza cutter that much in your life. So if you're buying a pizza cutter, of course you're going to start looking for other things to do it with like to use it with but is that thing really an apple pie the, the problem with using a pizza cutter is it's going to create these super thin lines that then the inside filling of the apple pie you're going to uh it's going to be so thin that when you try to pull it out it's just going to flop all over the place and now you're going to be sitting uh with you know those pieces of apple pie that are just like crumbling all over the place and you can't get that clean cut in there on the flip side, you, you could literally take a uh, gas mask. Okay, it's like very useless for us. You could take a uh, a knife and cut pizza with it. Just just like a standard butcher knife you, you could cut pizza with. It's not like even if you uh, eat pizza a lot, it's not like you need a pizza cutter in order to cut pizza. It just seems like a utensil that, sure, in a, you know, pizza shop, it's probably pretty useful to have a pizza cutter because you're, you're cutting a lot of pizzas. You can do it quickly. You know, it's a slice, slice, and go kind of ordeal. But in any other situation, I just I don't see why having a pizza cutter would be a life or death scenario. You know what, man? I, I know. You're mad at me. I'm mad at me, too. Give me this. Give me this. And then just allow me to continue on in my life. Yeah, you're thanking me now. I fire one bullet in your shop. You're like, goo hoo is the end of the world as we know it. Okay, we already know everything there is to know about this room. Will that kill both of them? The world will never know. That will, though. More blanks. Would have been nice to have them, all things considered. But that's alright. No idea how we got out of that one alive. There's a lot of times I say that in this game. That was not an exception. Uh, we still have an item room, do we not? Or am I going insane? We might have two item rooms. Or I'm going insane. What, one of those two. This is an, an interesting room for us. The ability to play... Uh, we have a, a shoot em game. Shoot the targets game. Could be good. This is rat room, but that little to doesn't matter at all for us. We don't have rat key. There's no real benefits in uh, being in rat room to begin with. There's no benefit in being in the rat race either. They're calling it root beer now. Uh, okay. Come through here. Hello, friend. Yes, I am ready. This is an easy one, too. Um, at least, hopefully. I don't know. This actually looks kind of garbage. There's one. I missed by an inch. Okay. Th this is going just absolutely terrible. Yeah, thanks for giving me a blue chest. It, it means very little to me. Katana bullets. Sure, man. Why not, actually? 
a gun muncher. Yo, I've never been happier to see this. So, flash ray, you gotta go. And then get, throw the mega dowser in there. You gotta go. It's gonna give me a trash tier gun, uh, cause what you put in is what you get out. But it must be better than that. It's the 38 special. Never mind, dude. It's it's not really all that good. The 38 special is actually okay. Um, it, it's probably better than those two guns, but it is still not good. But it fires fast. That I can get down with. The damage on it is it's subpar. You know, it's not like this is going to be the gun to bring us to the promised land on this run, but you know, it's it's better than terrible. Which is basically, it sums up my YouTube channel. So, Super Space Turtle. Sure. Not really sure the benefits of having him here, but... It's all good. No secret room. We go. Um, it's a tough one right now. It's a tough one. What's your favorite kind of pie? You know, we're talking about cutting apple pie with uh, a pizza cutter. Which is still ridiculous. Just want to continue to reiterate that. Um, but what is your favorite type of pie? I'm gonna be the basic person in the room and say that apple pie is my favorite kind of pie. Um, but there's obviously, there, there's several different aspects of pie that you have to, you have to think about and cover in these scenarios. Now, you first have to go, do you want a fruit pie? Okay, and, and that's your, your cherries. Your strawberries, your apples, um, your... I don't know, what other good fruit pies are, are there? I've had an apricot pie, I think, in the past. That That's an acceptable option for me. Okay, this guy's dead. I have very little um, HP, by the way. And this room is straight from heck and a half. Okay. Sorry, I have to take some time to re-examine my life choices and figure out if they're, you know, okay. Hi, I will do this. What are we doing? Without taking damage? That's fine. Yeah. Let's do it. I'll somehow manage to take damage. That's how this run's going today. We very well might lose. Um, I hope that is not what happens, but... It's not looking incredible. Also, katana bullets seem like they were insanely good. Because occasionally we're, like, annihilating people. With, like, very large bullets. Okay. Science cannon we snagged. Cool. Science cannon's okay. I'd like a little bit of HP, if that's alright. Yeah, th this'll do. Wow, I can't afford it. That That is even... Sadder than sad could be. Um, what are we looking for from the boss on this floor? I actually think that we... We do okay against... I think we do really well against four towers. Um, but I think we actually succeed pretty well against the wall as well. I think if it's High Priest, we might lose. So obviously that's not one that I would look forward to. But... Most anything else I'm going to feel okay about. I am going to throw the silencer in here. And I think I'm going to throw the membrane in here as well. I haven't had a lot of luck with that gun. And this should give me a, a little higher tiered gun anyway. The Gungeon Ant. Okay, sawed off. You got to go. I'm going to also kill the sling, and you might be like, hey, Tyler, you're starting to worry me a little bit. This now allows us to come back here. I can buy the armor, and I think that that offers a little bit more, uh, a little bit more life for us going forward. Just because I don't know if you've noticed, but we're sitting on one heart, and a, a jammed enemy will ruin our life. Um, like, literally, we will die from it. So probably strikes me as a good idea to, to, to not worry about that. This room is, is straight from heck, dude. I hate it every second. Did you, did you see those katana bullets? Okay, give me the hexagon and now we can actually use this thing. I still think 
In an ideal world, this is your room clear. Okay, you don't want the science cannon here. Why are you on hexagon again? Yo, the, the, the katana bullets. You seeing that garbage? They're beautiful. Is it when I kill an enemy, katanas start to go like crazy? I love that. That's a big, big plus. Or is it only sometimes? Or is it only with the rogue special? I don't know how it works. Um, it seems like when I kill an enemy with the rogue special, they start to go nuts. Okay. I don't know, man. I I'm just going to live my life and hope for the best. Do we feel good about doing that yet? I'm going to go with no. For the sole reason of, uh, of we haven't seen our... Oh, my. That was unfortunate. But life goes on. Hexagon also turns people into chickens. I forgot about that uh, aspect of it. The death is just chilling in this room. You know, our good friend. Hi, buddy. Hope all's been good. Super Space Turtle putting in the work. Red hearts. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. What the hell is this? Cat King Throne. Okay. Yeah, I'll bite. What? What, what is the uh, the Cat King Throne? Shoots miniature bullets on dodge roll. Yeah. It does. <laughs> you, you ain't lying. That is 100% exactly what it does. Okay. Works for me. I'm not going to say that that's good because I'm not sure it is, but could be beneficial in big rooms. It doesn't activate even all that much, but hey, man, I'm just here for a good time. That's all. So you got your fruit pies. That, that's probably where I would go uh, is, is gravitating towards a fruit pie. But you also have like your chocolate pies and your cream pies. Uh, and then you have your, your fruit cream pies. You know, you got like a, a lemon cream which it, it sounds delicious at the current moment. Uh, but you also have, you know, your chocolate creams. You have... Uh, there, there's a lot of different creams. A French silk is kind of a chocolate cream as well. All acceptable. Uh, then you also have, like, nut pies. You know, a, a pecan pie um, or a pecan pie, depending on, you know, what part of the United States you're from. Um... Am I missing? You have a meringue, but I, I feel like that falls into a fruit pie, like a, a lemon meringue, a lime meringue. I think that that could fall under uh, fruit pies, since, you know, it is literally talking about a fruit. How did I get hit, dude? Did one of these stupid sons of a gun hit me? Because that is massively unfortunate. It's a green chest, thank you. It's a stinger, thank you. It's a very good gun. And then I'm going to go back and, against my own will, I'm going to buy a full heart. Because I am scared of this. Please be four towers. No, it's friggin' door, dude. I haven't fought this guy in a long time, so I'm a little bit... I don't remember what he does. And don't know any of the patterns. Which alarms me. I kind of forgot this dude was a boss, so... So far, it's going actually very good, but, um, it doesn't mean that I'm not alarmed at the fact that I have no idea what he, what he does. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it could be going better, but so far, so good. When you haven't been hit, it's, it's hard to complain. Okay. I haven't been hit, right? Yeah, yeah, you know what? You suck, buddy. Is the Gungeon Ant the right thing to use here? I don't think so. Th this guy has become hell for me. What the frig is this? Okay. You know what? To only take one hit in that one, I can feel okay about that. Take your hegemonies. Get yourself a Heck Blaster. Sure. Fair enough. Uh, what was the synergy on this bad boy? Just interested. 
Back blaster with Gungeon Ant. Okay. Does that change Gungeon Ant? Yeah, okay. Wow, that, that seems pretty good now. <laughs> it's like a pregnant ant or something. Which, you know, standard life. I'm going to take a, a quick sip of some lukewarm microwave tea. I also just accidentally dumped it all over myself. That's okay. That's life, dude. Okay. Yeah, this seems like really good, actually. It's like a, a rocket launcher. Gungeon ant. Yeah, it it's solid. I mean, this dude's jammed. He, he's always going to be a pain. But, I don't know. This seems... Seems real good. Is Heck Blaster upgraded? It's hard to tell. You can't see Heck Blaster's shots. Um, but it, it, it fires them. Don't worry. Heck Blaster is not my favorite gun. But if it wants to give me a good synergy, I'm not against it. We'll keep the chest there, but I, I really have a high doubt that we are going to ever open that. Because if we get a key, there, there ought to be a chest better than a blue on this floor, right? Oh my. Yo, what happens if we fire Heck Blaster shots at this guy? Does he keep the, them invisible and then fire them back at us? Because that would be frightening. I'll just be chilling here. It's all good. Turn him into a, uh, a newt. A newt. I got better. Flame hand. I don't. Allow me to say I apologize. Flame hand. I talked down about you. I forgot you were a beautiful piercing lad. That allows us to do a lot of damage uh, to enemies. In the old piercing fashion. Is good stuff. This is another room. Once again, flame hand puts in the work. Yo, how'd we get full HP, though? Am I going insane? How the hell did we get full HP? I've been getting hit, haven't I? I'm real confused. Yeah, that, that was real bad. Okay, you, you need to actually, like, hit the enemy in order for him to die. Thanks. What do we got here? Let's go flame hand. I am going to try to do my best. What is this? Uh, offer your heart to a new friend. Dude, I don't know what this one does. So I'm going to look it up. Someday I will learn all these. Offer your heart to a new friend. Okay. Shrines. List of shrines. I'm looking. Removes one heart container or two armor if the robot... And grants a random item that summons a familiar. Let, let's let's do it, dude. I got a wolf. Okay, let's do it. So I lost a heart container. Oh friggin' well. You know what? If I uh if I was gonna need that heart container to win, we weren't gonna win anyway. Now we got a wolf and life is but a dream. Is wolf all that good? It's okay. Uh I I'm not gonna get to too crazy about it here but it's okay well 38 special action incoming get smacked wow dude this guy takes way too many shots now science cannon you got it you got to you got to use it that's a good gun for the dragon uh, mind you actually it's not a great gun for the dragon oh I forgot we had this beautiful thing now too um, because we actually want, like, Heck Blaster would be pretty good for the, the dragon, I think. Stinger's another okay one. Yo, this is not the time, buddy. I, I'm really, I was not looking for mini boss fights today. But you do you. I will Stinger this guy fully. And I will Flawless you. And then you will give me armor and a chest and a key. And it's going to be amazing. Okay, I've hit you for a lot, buddy. This is about the time where you die. Thanks. Okay. So, two hegemonies. It did drop a chest. Um, it, it needs a key, though. 
I don't know, man. That, that was kind of garbage, if I'm being honest. Good stuff. Nice. Katana bullets continuing to be real nice. I'm glad we picked those up. I, I still am not entirely sure what they do. Um, but I haven't had death while using them, so that seems like a positive. Oh, these guys are angry. Fight fire with fire, buddy. Yeah, this is the one where you spawn in down here. I hate it. You're dead. I can't burn. Let's keep that in mind. Almost forgot about that. Keep in mind, we still have two chests and the forge on this floor. And we got 119 uh, money. Which means we could buy, like, one good gun from the forge. I also feel like I would probably go for a key over uh, one one good... Although, I suppose if our chest is a green, okay. Now we really need keys. I would probably open the green chest over getting a good item. I don't know. Maybe I would rather... If it's a good item, I, I'd rather buy the good item. It depends on the item. Clearly. You're dead. Where are you at? You're dead. So, I think here... I don't know, man. Uh, it, there's a lot of things we could go with. I almost think that we've been using the the flame hand enough that we should be doing that. And this is our other item room right here. This is a special room here as well. It's just a blue. I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to open it. So let, let's just kill that off. You were looking for armor from it. Heart locket for a key. That's a problem. Uh, I would love to. Sadly, not an option. I have a feeling this is either the boss room or the forge right here. It's the boss room, which means the forge is, honestly, it's probably just this room here. Next room over. Put myself in a, a sticky spot right there. Number one uh, tip of Gungeon. Don't back yourself in a corner or else you're going to have a bad time. This is not the forge. Which means the forge, yeah, that was bad. The forge will be down from where we were. Flame hand into hexagon, back into flame hand. I need to get better at switching guns, uh, like, immediately. You know, fire a shot and then instead of reloading, switch to a new gun kind of ordeal. Beautiful. Beautiful. This sucks. Wolf is putting in the work, dude. He was worth the one heart. It's Devil Deal Wolf. Okay. So, Gun Knight Greaves, that's immediately going to be one armor for me. Oh, what the hell is the difference between Gun Knight Helmet and Gun Knight Greaves? Okay, hold up. Gun Knight Helmet. What is this? Um. Effects. Grants two piece of armor upon pickup and armor every floor. Okay. So basically what you're saying is I would love to get that. But we're out of rooms. So that seems unlikely. So now that puts me in a scenario where I could do this and this. And that puts us at enough. And then we, we, we try. Um, I think we're going to be fine. Here. Which we, we sat in some sticky spots on this run. This really is a testament to uh, how much I've improved and entered the dungeon. Because a long time ago, this run would have been an absolute failure on, like, the third floor. But, uh, luckily what happens when you play a game a lot is you get better at it. It's a wild idea, actually. But, th this has gone pretty well today. Is Heck Blaster the move? It's the move against these guys, for sure. I'll hexagon these guys in the corner. Okay, good stuff. Flame hand, I don't even think that's doing damage. So I kind of feel obligated to not do that. 38 specialing this guy. Seems not intelligent. We did get hit. This will be a blank here. I, I actually, if there is a trick to how to beat that, I do not know it. So... It's all good. We're melting this guy. This is an easy dodge. Just keep the cursor where you went. Yep, well, now we have to learn how to do this. Stay on the base. Nice, dude. Okay. Might be the first time I've ever successfully dodged that. 
Just continue. We're out of bullets in it. Okay. Gungeon ant it up. Dude, you can actually, like, spam this thing a little bit. This is pretty good. He is donezo. Puts us in a good spot. I think Heck Blaster is going to be your, uh, your poison for doing fast damage since you never have to reload. And since we'll be right on top of him, it should be pretty insane on the damage front. Also, I just realized something, and I'm going to test it. Okay, th this did not do the amount of damage I want. Am I allowed to fly out here? I am allowed to fly out here, dude. That's whack. Also, that, that could have been bad right there. So I could have maybe flown behind him this entire time and hit him. I don't know if that's actually a thing or not, but... Okay, 38 special is not the move. Gungeon Ant. Thank you, you're dead. Okay, it's a good run. We we struggled a little bit, but we made it. Uh, we'll head down to the Lich to see what we can do uh, down there, but consider this to be a two on yield streak. I should really go back and uh, destroy those chests, but eh. Who cares, dude? I'm going to dump more tea on myself. You know, I thought I would still have my wings. Now, now I have to take the time to, to roll instead of drinking my tea. Okay, now I can drink my tea. Take me home, West Virginia, Mountain Mama. Well, let's do this thing. How do I expect to fare down here? I expect us to die, like, almost immediately. It's stupid that this Gungeon Ant ended up being, like, arguably one of our best guns for us here. It, it's been quite nice. I don't... It, was that even my shot? Oh, th this room can go to hell, dude. It's Wiggly Boys, and it's it's Crawly Boys. It's all the boys I don't like. They're just bad boys. Yes, you're dead. 38 special. Let's charge shot into action. As soon as we find the Lich, uh, we will be fighting it. And basically the goal is, can I make it past the second phase? If I can, as a win for me. If I can't make it past the first phase, pretty sad, because I actually think the first phase is... About the same difficulty as, like, a fourth floor boss. Second phase is legitimately difficult. And then third phase is a bit of a joke, honestly. Uh, I don't even know how people do that crap. Okay. Good stuff. I don't have a key. So, sadly, that is not a thing that I can even mess with. There, there was someone in the wall right there. That was very, very frightening. 38 special. Probably not what you want to use here. You got, you got, oh my lord, this is horrible. There's wiggly boys. You need to go. There's too many wiggly boys. We are a hit away from death. Not much I can do about that, but you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. I love that these one shot, dude. Makes my life much easier. One shot. One shot. Nice. How did something hit me, though? Seems like a big old pile of BS. Okay. Keep in mind. Hit away from death. Okay. Oh, Lord. You know what? I'm mad. Because... I literally built that entire situation around avoiding that, and yet somehow we still uh, still got hit by it. Now I gotta redo all these rooms, which means reusing bullets in our Gungeon Ant, which we like very badly need in order to win. Stinger is basically just the Gungeon Ant, but a little bit uh, a little bit stronger because of the extra bees. I think. I actually have no idea. Is is it actually stronger than? Our upgraded Gungeon Ant. Hard to tell. Katana bullets putting in the work. It's going fine. You're annoying still. I'm glad the hand's not back in here again. Okay. Beautiful. Those bees should be able to kill him. Absolutely. This is a horrible room, by the way. I am on half a heart as well. 
that that would be a, a new one even for me is beating the lich with half a heart i don't see that necessarily happening for relatively obvious reasons okay you're dead you're dead hello friend you're dead maybe fair enough oh my lord that scared the hell out of me i think i would have died from fire about 400 times on this run if it wasn't for uh flight but it was still this was a garbage start to a paradox run mega dowser and uh mega dowser and wax wings is pretty weak man I'm just throwing it out there. Wow, something annihilated that guy. You're dead. When things go well for us, they go really well for us. It's just things don't often go well for us. Those were following me hardcore. The katana bullets, dude, they go crazy every once in a while. I still have no idea how to even activate them. Or if it's just something that randomly occurs. Okay. Good enough. It's such a large floor is the issue. There, there's wiggly boys in here, and that's going to be a problem. We all know how much I hate the wiggly boy. Okay. Heck Blaster is proving to be uh, way better than we maybe gave it credit for. We are out of bullets in it now, though. Wiggly boys got to go. I wish this gun one-shotted. That'd be making my life a whole hell of a lot better. Do not follow me, you stupid. Okay. Half a heart. Two blanks as well. We'll, we'll keep that in mind. But, uh... The dream is that you could save them. I think we die here because apparently I'm bad, but... We did not die. There's just too many shots, man. <laughs> There's too many shots. Alright, that's gonna do it for this run uh it was a, it was a success honestly even though we died um the streak continues and it was one that we genuinely fought back on that is gonna do it thanks so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one you have a good day Bye bye